Hi, I'm Rick Nagel, former chairman of the board of the Central Rhode Island Chamber of Commerce here at the studio at the Central Rhode Island Chamber where we're talking to Gary Harlem from the Technology Advisory Group and we're talking uh, first about remote access. We did a, a brief discussion on that uh, which you can find in Facebook. Now we're going to talk about staying in touch. Gary? Uh, once again, thank you to the Chamber for this public service announcement in trying to get some of this important information out to their members in these times of crisis. Uh, most importantly, hopefully, again, every company has a disaster plan that defines how you're going to act and operate in these times of disaster. Okay. So uh, talk to me a little bit about that. What are some of the tools that you use to stay in touch uh, and uh, keep the team together, communication with customers, communication with vendors? Well, first and foremost, in our office, we're using Microsoft Teams. It's part of the Office 365 suite. Mm -hmm. And what we have found in recent time, that it's, it's kind of like a fancy chat, but ultimately, whether we're in the office, on the road, or even at home, uh, we can all communicate uh, very effectively. Um, there's different threads and um, communications. You can speak to the team. You can speak one-on-one. -on -one. And you have access to this information both on your computer, on your phone, or wherever you really are. Okay, and that is part of the 365. That's uh, not an additional charge. Uh, it depends on the subscription that you have, but uh, most of the complete subscription do offer Teams. Okay. Uh, talk to me a little bit about email. Email. Well, you know, email, it's actually very interesting. You know, one of the reasons we went to Microsoft Teams was actually to cut back on email because we know everybody's uh, dependency on email today is so great. But um, what most of the people don't realize or many people don't use um, they're so used to using Outlook in the office mm -hmm. and don't realize that they can get their email via a website or a browser um, in order to log into that email. It does have to be turned on, though, by your uh, IT provider. Not everybody has access to it. Okay, so make sure that uh, if you want to be able to access your email, somebody in IT is taking a look at that 365 setup. Yeah, and remember, the, the last thing you want to do is forward your email to your home address because you're working at home. Mm -hmm. Keep keep your home at home and keep your work email separate. Okay. How about phones? Anything that uh, you want to share about phones? Yeah, well, we, we all know back in the day we used to have to do use call forwarding in order to, if we weren't going to be in the office, to forward the office lines to uh, a different phone number, whether it's mm -hmm. somebody's home, today, or a cell phone. Most modern phone systems today will allow you to either run an app on your phone um, uh, or take your phone, actual physical phones home and use them at home. Okay. Um, and, you know, one of the benefits there is, again, you can answer the phone as if you were in the office, and if people were working, you can transfer between extensions just if you were in the office. Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, now, one of the things that a lot of folks uh, are using is chat, uh, especially when uh, you, know, you can't be there to touch people one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, any thoughts on that? Yeah, we actually just did this. We, you know, we uh, just added it to our website also. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, it's actually fairly simple. There's a bunch of services out there that will do it. Um, we use the service called OctaChat, okay. uh, or I guess it's OctaChat.com. Mm -hmm. And it was actually a pretty quick update to the website. And just like most of them, if somebody clicks on our little chat button, uh, we have an operator standing by to take somebody's information, try to figure out what they're looking for. Okay. Uh, out of curiosity, if there's nobody available to respond to the chat, is there any kind of auto-responder on that? I think that there's lots of options. I think in our case, ours you know, will tell you if somebody's available or not. It'll say okay. we're, we're offline at this time. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Well, any other thoughts uh, for us, Gary? Nope. Again, you know, if any of the members have uh, any questions, they're welcome to post them uh, into this forum, and uh, we will answer those questions as quickly as we can. And if by chance you're not working with an IT company and need some help with some of these things, you're welcome to email us at info at techadvisory.com, and uh, we will be happy to talk to you about your needs. Again, we will post that email into the uh, chat when we're done. Thanks for your thoughts, Gary. Thanks. It's uh, challenging times out there, but let's keep business going.